Is a decent filing system just not in your wheelhouse? Well, you're in luck because today we're going to talk about the do's and don'ts of filing here on Get Organized with Jody. Hi, I'm Jody Granock, a certified professional organizer with over 15 years in the field. And paperwork is one of my favorite types of organizing jobs. Today, we're going to talk about the do's and don'ts of filing. So let's get into it. The first rule is that you don't want to use file headings that you inherited from a former employee or headings that were suggested by someone else. Meaning that sometimes we buy a filing system that comes with pre-printed labels that tell us what to call a category of items. Here's the thing. We all think differently about what we call something and being able to recall the specific name you're looking for with a file is really important. So you might call the thing that you drive a vehicle. Someone else might call it auto, car, the brand like Toyota or the nickname like Betsy. If you're trying to find your paperwork for the thing that you drive quickly and easily, and you can't remember what you've called the file, it's going to be hard to retrieve it. So instead, use file headings that make sense to you so the retrieval is fast and easy. Go by the first thing that pops in your head. What would I call this type of paperwork if I was going to look for it again? Don't use paper clips to hold paperwork together because they tend to grab other papers that don't belong. And before you know it, something that was gonna go in a completely different file could be lost for weeks, months, or forever because it got stuck to the back of something that went in a completely different folder. So instead, staple paperwork if it needs to be kept together. Now there's a side rule for this and that is if you have a really large stack of paperwork that you can't staple, using a binder clip is more effective than a rubber band, which tends to break and fall apart over time, leaving a sticky and stained residue on your paperwork, which is really not ideal. So go for the binder clip instead. Don't file your bills when they're still folded up inside of envelopes or even just file them folded, waste valuable filing space. So instead, you wanna unfold your paperwork and lay things out flat, remove the envelopes before you file. If you really need the envelope, go ahead and attach it to the last page. But by unfolding your paperwork, you're going to give yourself two or even three times more space in a filing system than if you left it folded in half or in a trifold. Don't procrastinate until you have a huge pile of paperwork to file because that's only going to cause you anxiety and more stress. Instead, commit to spending five or 10 minutes at the end of each day filing your paperwork away. It doesn't mean that you'll get it all done in that first day, but by constantly maintaining this strategy of putting things away for a few minutes at a time, you will chip away at it and eventually you'll be able to keep your desk tidy every single day. Don't overstuff your file cabinet. Instead, review your files regularly and toss, shred, or recycle paperwork when they're no longer needed. And for more information on that, check out our other video on creating a filing system that works. Visit organizingmagic.com for more organizing resources, including our free e-newsletter and information about our monthly Zoom webinars. And remember that new videos drop every Friday. So be in the know and make sure you click like and subscribe before you go so you never miss out on another video. See you next time.